the Step One Coffee House. You're the project supervisor. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you, look at this. This is the coolest thing. I have never. Yes. I have to admit, I've never heard of cold brewed coffee before. Well, is this it, is, it is catching on. It's uh, something that Starbucks has also recently adapted, so uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, people are getting interested. We've got classes going to teach people how to do it, and I'm super excited to be doing that today. Well, yes. Okay, now, first of all, tell us about Stepping Stones, the organization. Of course. This is like course. part of it. It benefits them somehow. Correct. We are one of the social enterprises of Stepping Stones agencies, so all of our social enterprises provide all of the proceeds directly to our women and children's shelter who are victims of domestic violence. Wonderful. Cool. And we provide shelter and advocacy and have been doing so for them since 1980. So we're celebrating our 35 year anniversary. Wow, this congratulations. Year. Before you were born, obviously. Yes, you know? yes. So, <laughs> you haven't that been there the true. whole time. Okay, and so this little coffee shop is open to the public, and where, where is it? We're down off of 2nd Street in Prescott Valley. We're located right next to the big red building off of Highway 69. Mm -hmm. That is actually our Stepping Stones thrift store. And I have to tell you, it's real good. Out. I've been there, I've had sandwiches and stuff, and I, I just didn't know. So so uh, let's get to the cold brew coffee. What's of the advantage course. of cold brew coffee over hot, or is there one? Well, the main difference between the cold brew coffee actually lies in its name. Um, we use cold water or room temperature water as opposed to the hot water brewing methods. And the nice thing about this is that we saturate the coffee over a longer period of time, which allows more of the floral accents, the sweetness, and the smoothness to come out in your brew as opposed to what people might be used to with their black coffee, such as the bitterness and the little harshness that happens whenever you hot water. Okay, and I love this because you actually talk about coffee like people talk about wine, Brandon. <laughs> yes, you know, the bit notes, of a to it. the flavors, mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. I had no idea that there were so <laughs> many varieties. Now you have this cute little book, it's called the, the Coffee Tasting Journal. Correct. Yes, Coffee Tasting Journal, and so we'll talk more about that, but it's, um, you, you have like a whole wheel here mm -hmm. of different like coffee flavors, yeah. uh, piquant, uh, <laughs> acidy, sweet, salt, mm -hmm. bitter. Tell, are you kidding me? This is a little tasting guide that we have assembled here so that way anybody who attends some of our classes might find certain notes or flavor profiles and just need a little bit of an extra nudge and be like, oh, I'm tasting something. It's a little subtly sweet. It's a little, little crisp. Oh, Oh, it, it's caramel. It tastes like caramel. There you go. And then you can gradually follow the chart through. Well, now, is this with different kinds of beans or the way you brew it to get these different flavors? It's actually taste? a combination of six different keys. One, it's definitely the quality of the beans that you utilize. Two, it's the grind that you're going to use for the brewing process, the water and the water quality that you're using, the temperature of the water, the time that you're going to allow it to steep, and it's it's absolutely fantastic. Wow. Are you going to kind of demonstrate a little bit for us here? Kind of, of course. Show us we're talking about? Yes. I, I've never brewed hand coffee, so <laughs> you go for it, Brandon. What I'm going to do here today is simply show you the easiest method to make cold brew coffee at home. And what we're going to be utilizing today is our French press, and they come in various different shapes, sizes, colors, and we're going to go through the process here, and it's super quick, so, you know, try not to blink here. What I'm using today is three ounces of uh, whole coffee, whole bean coffee right here. And I'm going to grind it up. It's going to get a little bit loud here. Sorry, folks. Make sure that you utilize a coarse grind right there. Awesome. All set. Oh, that's not so noisy. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like my bad. neighbor's leaf blower. No. This and for those bad. of you at home that don't have access to this wonderful grinder here, since I have the opportunity of working at a coffee shop, a blade grinder works just fine. Okay, so it's so, all nice and fine now. Exactly. Those things turned we into powder. We take our coarse grind right here and we pour it right into our French press. It smells so good. <laughs> it's fantastic. Mm. It tastes great. Yeah. This right here is our sunrise blend that we use at the coffee shop. And then we Ooh. take 12 ounces of water. And the ratio is the sixth key important part here. We're going to use a one to four ratio. So one ounce of ground coffee to four ounces of liquid water. This is such an art, oh. Brandon. I had no idea, really. And now. That's it. You would take it and set it off to the side. You can do this either at room temperature or go ahead and cover it with some plastic and set it in your fridge overnight. And you don't mix it up or anything, you just leave it just like that. Well, you want to go ahead and let it sit. There's a little bit of a trick to this. After you let it sit for about 10 minutes, this is what you're going to have pop up. Oh, okay. And it's going to look kind of like a brownie. I don't know if you can quite <laughs> see that at home. <laughs> it's interesting. It so after it forms there, we're just going to take that and you want to make sure that you stir it right back into the brew. Because it here. kind of has a top uh, head. 
head exactly. to. Exactly. It makes a little bit of a raft out of all that loose Ooh, coffee. That if looks you stir so it back rich. in there, you'll make sure that all of the surface area of the coffee is covered and good to go. And then you'll the hardest part about this is you have to wait. The time that it takes to brew cold brew is about 12 to 24 hours. At the coffee shop, we utilize an 18-hour process. So you got to plan this ahead sits, for this coffee. Exactly, you do. It's not one of those brew and good to go in the morning. Right. But after the concentrate is done, it's fantastic. You can dilute it with just about anything, make it hot, make it cold. So after the 18-hour process, you would then go ahead and just take your French press and press it straight down. And this will result in a little bit of the concentrate ready to go. Okay. Now, because the screens on the French press aren't that great, you can use a variety of different filtration methods. We have different bags that you can find online. We have little china caps or strainers, colanders, whichever you want. I always prefer to use the paper filter here because it will catch all of the sediment that is produced oh, from the grind okay. and the brewing process. And then once you're all set with this, you would then Get See, he's really doing this a really fast one for us. Okay, 30 seconds. All right. Oh. So there we go. <laughs> Just like a race. <laughs> no problem. And then you can take your cold brew concentrate here and mix it with a variety of things. You could use hot water. You can use milk. I prefer to use milk because the creaminess happens to bring out... So this is ready to go. I mean, this now. is all set and ready to go. I brew this uh, Wednesday, actually. Let it sit for 18 hours. I wanted to make sure it was all good and set and ready for you guys here today. So this is a really good, um, like, cool thing, like in the summer, like it iced is. tea it's instead fantastic. of hot tea, sort of a thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And is it already sweetened, or do you add sugar to that? It is actually unsweetened. You're more than welcome to add any kind of sweetener that you would like to it. Honey, sugar, what okay. have you. Um, I prefer to drink it just straight because the sweetness just actually like pops that. Oh. with just the milk itself. There we go. Look at that. Get it's a beautiful. There. All right. Do I get to taste touch this? More? Of course. You're more right. welcome to. I'm tasting this, this right now. Get this one set up and ready to go. It smells there good. Oh, that is delicious. And Brandon use... Duncanson, thank, <laughs> thank you so no much. Problem. The Step 1 Coffee House Presque Valley. Don't miss it. Fun. And you teach classes, information yes. online. Thanks yep. for joining us. Thank you. All right.